Using AI to cut out subjects is simple but not perfect. Both Photoshop and Luminar Neo are amazing softwares, but which one is doing the perfect job in the end so you can rely on it? I prepared some images, so let's see who wins this cutout challenge, Photoshop or Luminar Neo. I'm also gonna provide points to the winner for each photo, and I'm gonna split the tests in two stages. The one-click stage, where I let the software do the job without any additional help from me, and the refine stage, where I try to improve the result using tools available in the programs. Let's start with this photo first in Luminar Neo. It's a Star Wars robot, and if you know its name, drop it in the comments below just for fun. So here I just need to go to the layer properties and click on background removal. At this point, the software can analyze what's in the frame. It's very smart. It can select different areas of the photo, but it already did a good job by detecting the main subject here. So all I need to do is to click on remove, but pay attention to this area because it doesn't look like it will make a perfect selection. It misses some parts, especially here, but here as well. So let's see when I click on remove. Yes, it looks like there are some areas where it didn't pay attention. Now, let's switch to Photoshop. To cut out the subject from the background, I choose the Object Selection tool. And then here, I just need to press on Select Subject. But I have two options which are different, you will see. The first one, the default, is set to Device, which creates faster results because the image is analyzed locally on your machine. So let's try it. Okay, so comparing it with the selection from Luminar Neo, I can see a small improvement, especially here on this part, where it did a better job. But unfortunately, it completely missed the part on the left leg here. So if I remove the background by creating a mask from this selection, this is the result. However, let's go back now and choose the second type of select subject. It's called cloud, and obviously it's processed in the cloud, and it's supposed to be trained much better. I will choose it, and let's click on the magic button now. Ooh, look at that. It did a much better job now. Looks like it missed two spots though. In fact, three. We have another one here at the leg. So without helping the AI, here are the initial results. First, we have Luminar Neo. In the middle, I want to put the first try from Photoshop using the first option with quicker results for select subject. And on the right, the second Photoshop method with more detailed results using the cloud for select subject. Now, even though none of these three did a perfect job, if I narrow down the results here for the first stage where I just let the AI to do the job without any help, the first point goes to Photoshop. It was more precise and also look at the edges. They are much better defined here in Photoshop. Now we enter stage two where I use the tools to refine the selection. So going back to Luminar Neo, after I remove the background, I have another panel here called Refinements Brush. When you use this panel first, it looks weird, I know, but it gets easier if you start to practice. You can adjust the brush size using this slider, and you have these three tabs, transition with gray, object with orange, and background with blue. In areas like this, for example, I can say that this should be the background here, and it needs to disappear, so I choose background, and I just paint somewhere on this spot. I don't need to cover all of it. Luminar Neo learns in real time. As you can see, it made the selection better. However, when I come down here and try to brush over this small area, trying to say that this also should be a part of the background and it needs to be deleted, it's much harder because the colors are very similar. If I still try to insist here, the result is even worse. Let's take this left side where a part of the object was deleted here. I take the object brush and paint over this area. It finds the object in the end, but I think it's very difficult to deal with it. So I have some other tools here. Let's try those now. I go one step back from here and from masking, I choose brush. Besides the brush size, I can set the softness of the brush to match it with the edges of my selection. So I can paint some parts and I can erase some parts. And by using the X on the keyboard, I can easily switch between painting and erasing, just like in Photoshop. It's not the easiest process, but if you spend some time on it, you can end up with an acceptable result in this case. And if you zoom out in the end, let's say the edges look fine, but it's at the limit. Switching to Photoshop now, this is what I got from the start with subject selection. I can double click the mask to enter the select and mask panel, which has some tools that might help me get a good selection. Right from the start, I wanna fix these two triangles here. 
they need to be deleted. So let's grab the polygonal lasso tool because it's a very precise tool for the edges. And by holding Alt and clicking, I make a selection here and close it. This one is solved. And I do the same thing here for the right one. I have some other areas here to fix with the same technique. If I need to delete parts, I hold the Alt key when I make my selections. And if I need to add something, like here in this case, I just make a normal selection without holding Alt. What I want to fix next are the overall edges. I want them to be smoother. So I just come here to this panel and enter 10 for smoothness. Take a look at the edges now. They look much better. And I can also increase the contrast to 10% and maybe shift the edge of the selection to minus 5% just to let it eat more from my selection. Now I just take a general look at the robot to see if there's more I can do, but I think it's enough. So if I compare these results from Luminar Neo and Photoshop, for the second stage where I use the available tools to refine the selection, I will have to give another point to Photoshop. The edges are more clear and I had much more precise tools to refine my selection than in Luminar Neo. So two points until now for Photoshop. Let's play with the second photo now with this ski jumper. In Luminar Neo, I click again on the background removal and I can already see that even this photo has a very good contrast and it should easily detect subjects like this. It looks like it has some minor issues. So after removing the background, this is a much better and cleaner result than in the first photo that I tested. Let's see how Photoshop handles this. I really hope Luminar Neo will win the point for this photo, but let's see. Here we are in Photoshop. Let's choose Select Subject and try with the Device option for quicker results first. Oh, wow. I didn't expect this, to be honest. The result is very poor, actually. You can see better if I just remove the background. There are problems here at the arms and fingers, as you can see, but the worst part is here. The skis are no longer visible. They just disappeared. Very, very bad selection. Let's try again with the cloud option, hoping for a better result. Now this is much better, but still, it missed the fingers again. And what I really don't like is that it didn't remove the background here. So this is a very interesting result for this one. And comparing it with the one from Luminar Neo, this time Luminar Neo wins the point for stage one. Because it took care of this area, which is a bit complicated, and also it did a better job at the fingers. Let's start the second stage in Luminar Neo where I refine the selection. And this should be the perfect time to press the like and subscribe. So by using the refine brush in this case, painting over these areas, at the end Luminar Neo did a good job here. I think we can agree, but still, I don't have control over the edges of my selection. They are not sharp enough. They are not so defined. In Photoshop, however, I can take the Refine Edge brush and fix the problem at the fingers very easily. But for this area, using the same tool, it looks like Photoshop can't handle this properly. So I will have to use the Polygonal Lasso tool again to do the job. And look, I'm trying to be objective here. I think Luminar Neo deserves another point here for stage 2 as well, because for the refining stage, it was quicker than Photoshop where I had to use two different tools to improve the selection. So even if Photoshop has more controls and is letting me make the edges more defined, I will give another point to Luminar Neo for this photo. What an interesting score, right? But we need to decide who wins this battle. So before going to the third image, I just want to let you know that if you want to try out Photoshop or Luminar Neo, you'll find the links in the description of this video. At this point, you can get a free Photoshop trial or 10% discount for Luminar Neo if you use the code Christy at checkout. So here we are with another challenging photo with this airplane. After I clicked on background removal in Luminar Neo, I was a bit disappointed with this one because from the start, I got a very bad selection. And this was again unexpected because this image looks so clean and simple to understand in my opinion. Even if I tried to improve the selection by giving hints to the software that, hey, this is a transportation vehicle, you can see the poor result in here. So after clicking on remove background, the result was this, very messy. In Photoshop with the on device select subject, I got this result, which was even worse. I mean, the wings from the back and the left big wing are gone. It's barely a plane at this point. However, everything improved once I chose the cloud version of the select subject. 
Photoshop wins the point for stage one with the advanced method of select subject. So it's three for Photoshop and two for Luminar Neo at this point. At stage two, I tried as hard as I could to refine the Luminar Neo selection by telling the software which is the object, what's the background, and so on. But honestly, it took me forever to refine this and I wasn't satisfied with the result. On the other hand, even though I had to do some work in Photoshop as well, I felt more confident using the classic lasso and polygonal lasso tool to add or take out from the selection. And in the end, adding a 10% smoothness and contrast and a minus five for shift edge, and it's all done. Photoshop wins another point here and the score is Luminar Neo 2, Photoshop 4. So in my opinion, Photoshop is better developed at the selection tools. You can have a better control over the edges and the cloud AI for subject selection is really, really good at this point. But we need to take into consideration that Photoshop is on the market for a really long time now. This is why it can do the perfect job in the end, combining AI editing with manual controls. Luminar Neo is a newer software powered by AI, also doing a good job with really simple objects in the scene, but I hope I will see other precise selection tools besides AI and brushes. The ability to have more manual controls for the edges of the selections would be great. However, Luminar Neo is an excellent software for other AI jobs like repairing and fixing, sky replacements, and more. I'm sure you got frustrated at least once in Photoshop when you couldn't do a proper selection for a tree, for example, because you had to deal with weird colors at the edges and missing parts in your selection. So click on this video and I will show you a clever trick to cut out trees like a professional. Once you learn it, it will become an easy task, I promise.